Belugas are among the noisiest of whales. A few of their sounds can be heard on the surface. But when scientists listen underwater with hydrophones, they record a huge variety of calls, whistles, and clicks. I'm in love with the species. Belugas are an incredibly social, incredibly acoustic, and tactile species. I mean, imagine being a beluga whale up here in the Arctic where for many months of the year it is completely dark, there's no sun coming up, and they have to navigate through ice. Sound to them is like vision to us. They rely on sound for communicating with each other, for mediating their incredibly complex social interactions, and uh, to navigate and to find food. Valeria Vergara is studying beluga's communications on the shores of Canada's Cunningham Inlet, a summer gathering place for belugas within sight of the Northwest Passage. She recently discovered the way mother belugas and babies communicate. There you go, that was a calf. That was a clear calf call. You hear this call when there's little calves in the group because they don't know how to say anything else. It's the only call a baby beluga makes from birth and it cuts through chatter. On this long Arctic evening, Valeria listens to several belugas who have become temporarily trapped in a small inlet by falling tide. This is, it's an incredible natural experiment, what I'm trying to do here. Because only a few whales are isolated here, she can focus her observations. It allows me the opportunity to know that I'm recording that one group, how many calves in the group, how many yearlings, how many juveniles, and how many adults. Valeria has learned that the call starts simply, but grows up with the baby. Just like a human baby will cry, and the mom will recognize that cry for sure. And a human toddler will say, mama. And a human grown-up will say, hey, mom. <laughs> it's a contact call that evolves. It's still a call to the mom. Adults use contact calls with each other as well in other circumstances, but they all have to do with group cohesion. As the tide comes back in, belugas from either side try to cross the shallows to reach each other. Valeria calls it caterpillaring. When you watch them for a while, you realize just what a social uh, and tactile species belugas are. They're constantly touching one another. Males form rafts and they rest together, always maintaining contact with one another. You know, you see female taking care of the calves of other females. So you, you, you see behaviors that show that these animals have empathy and they form very strong bonds. 